breaking news. Welcome to today's headlines. IPOB wants President Buhari over Unamdekano's continued detention. IPOB wants President Buhari over Unamdekano over Unamdekano's continued detention. To my dear listeners, from wherever you're listening from, Please stay tuned as I read to this news. The indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, has said that President Muhammad Buhari should be held responsible for whatever may happen to its leader, Onamde Kanu. IPOB was reacting to the explanation offered by Buhari to British Prime Minister Boris Johnson as to why Onamdekan was still in detention. Buhari had said that Kano might not get bail again after he jumped bail and fled to the UK where he was attacking Nigeria until he was caught. In Kenya. In a recent statement, the spokesman of the group, a more powerful, said the world should hold Buari accountable for whatever that may happen to Kano. The United Kingdom Prime Minister specifically asked Buari why Kanu was still in detention but instead of responding to the question frontally, Buari chose to play to the gallery. Is it that he was not aware that his military personnel invaded Kanu's Afara Oko country home on September 14, 2017? or that he deliberately decided to be mischievous. The video evidence of the military invasion of his house which claimed no fewer than 30 lives only confirmed that Mazi Unnamde Kanu did what was needful for the moment. Hypop added that it was evident that world leaders Enjoy making Buaril advertise his ignorance of obvious realities. It said, The world is watching and looking for what is still keeping Kano in the Department of State Security Service custody. But that Buari and his security agencies would not admit the truth. We are aware that he has been under intense pressure to explain the role of his government over the illegal abduction and extraordinary rendition from Kenya to Nigeria of a British citizen. The UK Prime Minister specifically asked Buhari while the Biafra leader was still in detention. But in his response, Buari lied and associated Kano with jumping bill, as if he is ignorant of his deploying the military codename Operation Python Dance, which he, as the commander in chief of the Nigerian Armed Forces, instructed to invade the palace, village, and Afara Ukul Ibeko Kingdom Community, Umaya Province, Abia State which only mission was to kill Kanu and any living thing found in his compound, it said. The group stated that Buari who openly said 
that Kanu should defend his matter in the court, and that he is not interfering with the judicial process, was now making statements intended to intimidate the judge who is handling the case. The indigenous People of the Afro al Ipob have said that President Muhammad Buhari should be held responsible for whatever may happen to its leader, Onamdi Kanu. Ipob was reacting to the explanation offered by Buhari to British Prime Minister. Boris Johnson as to why Unamde Khan was still in detention. Buhari had said that Khan might not get bail again after he jumped bail and fled to the UK where he was attacking Nigeria until he was caught in Kenya. In a recent statement, the spokesman of the group Ima Powerful said, The world should hold Buaril accountable for whatever that may happen to Kanu. The United Kingdom Prime Minister specifically asked Buari why Kanu was still in detention, but instead of responding to the question frontally, Buari chose to play to the gallery. Is it that he was not aware that his military personnel invaded Kanu's Afara Oko country home on September 14, 2017, or that he deliberately decided to be mischievous? The video evidence of the military invasion of his house, which claimed no fewer than 30 lives, only confirmed that Mazi Unamde Kanu did what was needful for the moment. I provided that it was evident that what leaders enjoy making Buari advertise his ignorance of obvious realities. To my dear listeners, now we've come to the end of our today's news. Please do drop by at the comment section and let us know what your view is all about. Thank you for listening.